have lived through great darkness because this attack happened on a Jewish holiday and on Shabbat. Rabbi Mark Philippe of Temple Israel in Manchester says the Jewish community is praying for friends and family in Israel and citizens living in Palestine. For him, this is a moment to take threats seriously, but stand tall together. We are coming here taking it seriously, protecting ourselves. We have police, we have incredible team of security, but we actually walk with our heads high and we pray and bring light. At the nearby temple Adath Yesharun Synagogue, Rabbi Beth D. Davidson says she's seeing an outpouring of support from neighbors, but is conscious of the potential threats after Hamas leaders called for an international day of rage. We have been in touch with local authorities um, we've uh, upped our regular security um, arrangements. And to be more vigilant and to be more aware of our surroundings. And if you see something, say something. New Hampshire Attorney General John Formella says there's no reason to believe there's any imminent danger, but law enforcement around New Hampshire are watching closely. We are there for you. We are on alert. We understand that you may feel that you're a target, that you may not feel safe, but your law enforcement community is there for you. And members of the Jewish community here in Manchester also say that they've been in touch with the Manchester sister city in Israel that has been impacted by this recent fighting. Some of the local synagogues also working to raise money and supplies to send over as part of the ongoing humanitarian efforts amid the fighting. Live in Manchester, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.